From the Ronga and surrounds in Namibia, we have some shoal tourmaline, the black tourmaline. Sitting on this, I'd say we're looking at a scepter here. Um, let's just go around, all the way around. This would be from the Ronga and surrounds. Um, so the base would be here, which I think is partially crystalline as well. This may very well be a floater too. And then we've got what appears to be predominantly uh, smoky quartz. Almost going into a fenster effect. Uh, so looking from the top down, terminations intact, pretty nice. Uh, stand, so if you have it standing, it would stand flat like this. Going around there, there you have the little Mercedes-Benz termination, uh, ter termination of the, the shoal tourmaline, the black tourmaline most likely. A little bit of the foitite effect on the side there. Um, quite lovely, and here, of course, the, the typical pyramid effect, the thin base with a, with a thicker head. Um, it just go across here. I, uh, from this side, you wouldn't say it's a, a scepter. From the, so from one angle, it appears like a scepter. So let's not call this guy a scepter, although most likely it is a scepter. All the way from the Eronga mountain, Eronga region and surrounds, um, around about Karibib Usakos looks very, very similar to the material from Farm Neuschwaben. Could even be from there, but the, the shoal tourmaline would, would tell me it's most likely from just outside Usakos.